we've been using the save method of our managed object context to flush out unsaved changes to permanent storage. But what we haven't done is check whether any changes need to be saved. Normally, that's okay. You know changes have been made. You've just created a bunch of objects or deleted a bunch of objects. It's time to call save. But sometimes, in fact often, you'll bulk changes together. You'll make many changes and then call save once. It has a lower performance impact. And in fact, Apple even says, before you call save like this, make sure and check if there are any changes to be saved. Otherwise, you're making call to do work that's not required. Now, fortunately, we can check for changes in one of two ways. First, every managed object we have has a has changes property, which is true if that particular object has changes. But also, our entire view context has a has changes property, which is true if any of the objects owned by that context has changes. And so, rather than call save directly like we have here, we should always wrap it in a check for changes. Here it'd mean writing if our managed object context has changes, then save those changes. And that is a really small change to make, but it matters. There's no point going the save work here. There's no point doing the work if it isn't needed. No matter how small that work is, particularly if you do enough small work, you end up doing big work.